Heart failure is the term we use to describe a set of symptoms that occurs when your heart fails to deliver as much blood and oxygen around your body as it should. Today, we will talk about what happens when the heart muscle becomes damaged and weakened. The muscle of the left ventricle sometimes becomes damaged and often this can be following a heart attack. The main cause of a damaged pump or left ventricle is following a heart attack. This is when the coronary arteries become narrowed by plaque and or stiffened. A heart attack occurs when the clot forms in the narrowed artery and stopped, stops oxygen rich blood reaching the muscle of the pumping chamber. Sometimes people get mixed up between a heart attack and heart failure. So, think of a heart attack as an interruption in blood supply to the heart muscle. And think about heart failure as a destination, the damage to the muscle. Heart failure and pump damage can also be caused by other problems. This could be because of a virus, or a valve problem, excess alcohol. Sometimes cancer treatments can damage the heart muscle and sometimes even pregnancy. When the muscle of the left ventricle becomes damaged, it no longer is able to pump and squeeze as efficiently as it should. And this means the body does not receive sufficient supply of blood for its needs. The body relies on enough oxygen rich blood in order to function properly. Having a heart pump problem may cause signs and symptoms to occur in different parts of the body. When the left ventricle is unable to empty, the chamber above the left ventricle has to store more blood and that can stretch. And sometimes this can cause an increased pressure going backwards and this can cause fluid within the lungs, making you suddenly more breathless. Heart failure is generally a long-term condition, often unpredictable, and so it's very important for you to understand how to self-monitor your symptoms, to understand the medications you are taking, which are so important to reduce deterioration, improve your symptoms, and also to understand why regular blood tests are vital to monitor your progress.